Hey everyone, Mr. Doctor here, and we have been talking about creating and painting a design on a rock. And it could be an inspirational word or a simple design like a flower. Now, those two were done with paint. If you don't have paint, you could use Sharpies and marker on a rock. But if you don't have a rock, no worries. You can always just do it on a piece of paper like I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to start with a Sharpie, but you could start with anything. Pencil, crayon, and I just made like an oval shape. It's kind of bumpy, but that's okay because rocks, rocks aren't perfect. It's okay. And then I'm gonna make this one into a simple design. I could do a word, could do another fish. Um, I'm just doing like a pattern, a simple design. I'm gonna use some of these wavy lines we know. My favorite ones, these zigzag lines. And look, I'm making it a double line so I can color that line in. And yeah, definitely we're gonna make it be symmetrical, make it even on both sides. I think it's looking a little bit empty. So I'm gonna add some polka dots. You could never go wrong with polka dots. And again, friends, I'm doing a simple design. You can do a word on this paper. You can do a fish on this paper, whatever you want. And then I'm gonna color. I have these twisty crayons here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and color it in. It could be a pattern, or it can be random, whatever you think is best. Do the middle dots blue. And that's going to be it. I'm going to keep coloring and I'll post a picture of when I'm done so you guys can see my finished look when it's all done. Um, one thing I want to remind you of, you know, these rocks can go outside your house or in your neighborhood. Uh, your picture, if you draw one, go ahead and tape it to your front door, your front window, so you can share your artwork with people around you. All right, well, that's it, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.